Hi, my name is Robert Brain. I'm an expert in thought field therapy. And I often get asked the question, how does this work? Well, because it's when you see it the first time, you think it's pretty weird. I remember I, when I saw it the first time, I said, I'm not doing that, and I'm not doing that with my clients. But after I tried it and found that it worked, then I was able to keep going with it. Now, the good news is, is that when I learned about this stuff 20, 30 years ago, there really wasn't a way to explain it uh, other than in very woo-woo kinds of term, terms. Today, we know what's going on in a very different way because we know through neuroscience what happens in the brain and what happens in the mind. And one of the things that happens when you have overwhelming emotion, which thought field therapy can directly assist you in reducing and eliminating, is that's all happening in the bottom of the brain, the part of the brain that has no words. You can't reason with it. You can't talk to it. You can't, that just doesn't happen. That's all in the upper part of your brain. That's why cognitive therapy works with problems that are mostly coming from the top of your brain, like judgment. But these feeling kinds of things happen in the bottom of your brain. And the only way to communicate with that part of the brain is through an experience by changing something about what's happening in the reality of the moment. Now, tapping on these meridian treatment points, the same points they use in acupuncture and acupressure, in a specific order, gives a message to the body, to the mind, to the bottom of the brain, that says, okay, come fully into this present moment and recognize, are you safe in this moment? Recognize, are you able to make decisions in this moment that you couldn't in the past? And that's often what happens is that bottom of the brain is trying to help us operate in a way to stay safe and alive and survive, but it's all based on past experiences. So with thought field therapy, we find a way to communicate with the bottom of the brain that says, reset, come into this present moment, notice where you are and notice what you really need. Notice what you really desire in this moment. And once you do that, you're going to find yourself in a whole different way of being in the world and being with other people, being with your families, being in the community in a way that's not driven by this emotion that just forces you sometimes to do things that you know are not in the best interest of yourself or the people you love. So it's a simple explanation, but if you want to know more about thought field therapy and how it works, try the book. Um, Heal Traumatic Stress Now. You can get it at my website, you can get it on Amazon, and it has lots of stories about ways that TFT have, has worked. Once you see how it works, you'll begin to understand why it works. But experience it first, and then try to put some, some theory to it. Otherwise, you just don't have any information to work with. Anyway, I love talking about this stuff. My mission is to reduce suffering in the world by using thought field therapy, and I hope you join us in doing that.